Here with Josh Williams, College Racing's newest driver, news broke this week. Uh, how excited are you to have you know something set in stone for your future so far? Ah, super excited, man. You know, uh, motorsports is full of what ifs and what's going to happen next, right? And uh, man, when, when we got the, this opportunity, is uh, kind of like a weight lifted off my shoulders a little bit. I mean, you know, everybody knows the deal. Motorsports is super tough, and and uh, I've been grinding hard for a while, so to get this opportunity really means a lot. And uh, this is a huge race, you know, for the short track racing community. A bunch of great drivers, you know, from the top to the, you know, at the bottom, you know, scraping the way to oh, get yeah. by. So, you know, you've been in the mix, having experience, you know, in, in the higher levels of NASCAR, you know. You know, how are you taking this weekend and this opportunity for, for this race in particular? Man, uh, uh, late mall stock drivers are, I think they're underrated, man, a lot. I mean, late mall stock racing in the past couple of years has gotten so big. And uh, just to be, to be able to race with these guys is, is going to be fun, you know, and uh, there's a lot of guys out here who have a lot of respect, um, you know, for other drivers. So it's going to be fun to race against some of these guys that, that I've watched race all year. I mean, I follow late mall stock racing every weekend. I'm always either on flow or, or race monitor or something like that, just watching and, and seeing how everybody's doing. So uh, it's going to be fun getting to know some of these guys a little bit, and uh, maybe we'll rub some fenders here today. Uh, Chris spoke highly of you off the track of who you are as a person and stuff. That's, that's a big reason why they wanted you to come race for them next season. What was it about Paul, like whether it be the culture or Matt or Chris, you know, the team in general, that uh, was attractive for you to want to race with them? Uh, I know a lot of guys over here, man, and, and they just, you know, they're always having a good time. Uh, you know, they, they're they super, super good at what they do, uh, and they've got a great program. You know, I mean, everything everything is, is has a plan, you know, and uh, – a guy I grew up racing with, E.J. Trevetti, told me, uh, he said, if you fail to plan, plan to fail. And uh, these people have a plan, and, and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, as far as uh, racing tonight, you know, um, he mentioned you guys are trying to get, at least colleagues trying to get a uh, late model team going, you know, down here. So, you know, what's your role going to be in that? You know, to, you know, is this something you want to keep doing on the grassroots level, or are you guys going to be look, looking for dedicated late model drivers coming up to, to race these cars? Um, you know, we're not sure yet. Um, you know, I've got some late models myself, and, and we've talked about it a little bit. So uh, maybe that's something you'll see out of us in the future for sure. And, I mean, late model racing is huge. It is really huge, and, and the late model stock racing itself is, is growing very fast. So um, it's a good opportunity for younger drivers to, to get used to some of these tracks and, and to race against really, really super talented guys. So, um, you know, I'd like to do it. I'd like to be a part of it, you know, because I'm, I'm a short track guy, and, and I like helping the kids out and things like that with my development program. So maybe we can integrate that together and, and really make a good program. I hear Chris Rice. How you doing, man? We're at the South Carolina 400, 4 in South Carolina. You got a new driver uh, you, that broke today, and he's racing over there in that beautiful uh, number 11 car. So, uh, yeah, Josh Williams is on your team now. Uh, talk a little bit about that and uh, what you saw in Josh to get him on your team. Well, he parked it at Atlanta was one cool thing. Matt Collick <laughs> myself was talking about that. But, uh, no, Josh Josh has done a good job off the racetrack, but also on the racetrack. You know, Josh is uh, – I feel like he's, he's that guy that's always been quiet, not much trouble, but um, – no, I'm pretty excited to have Josh. We come down and do this late model deal. We're going to try to get a late model program going and, and see what we can do for the younger local guys. We know a lot of people like Dale Jr., Kevin Harvey, all those guys are doing it. and uh, I think it really helps our program out. So getting to bring Josh down here so he can learn our culture is one of the big things. Okay, and we have, uh, we have Josh Bear here yep. uh, with his new crew chief and everything, Rodney Childers. Um, just, he's from the grassroots area. You guys are here. Just how important is it for, uh, you know, for – the guys who are racing at the top level to come down and show these guys that you can get into the series based off your talent and it's not just you know all about the money as some people are starting to assume more about the lower divisions and stuff well i mean we've had two days full of practice so you get to do that you get to learn you get to learn the, the what the drivers do what they say how they talk so rodney childress and josh berry doing that is really good because then they get a head start because we don't give it 20 minutes at most racetracks you know and that's not enough time then you got to race a race and you might run 30th and that, that that's very frustrating so I think it's good they get to come and I think they were at Hickory last last week they're here this week I don't know if they're going next week so I think it's really cool that we can come down here and do some testing we can learn we brought engineers a couple of engineers with Josh so we could take a bunch of notes and uh, that that is the key you get to do a bunch of testing and, and hear what they say in their tendency and what are you looking forward to most you mentioned you want to start a late model program uh, having the calling brand you know in, in the grassroots area because everybody knows you guys you know from the cup and Xfinity level so Bringing that to the late model uh, grassroots scene, you know, how important is that to get that brand out there for you guys? Well, I think it's important just throughout the NASCAR community, right? Just to show that Matt Collick's bought in, everybody at Collick Companies is bought in, and, and just for all our partners. It's not just about, you know, you can't come here and just race. Uh, you know, we, we have to have partners, and we got to make sure it happens. And Alloy, they're all in with Josh and all in with us. So just having a, a stellar start is good. I think we've been in the top ten, three of the four practices, and 
We just want to contend all day. We want to be in top 15 at the end of the day, and that's what our key is. All right, thanks, man. Thank you. This is Timmy Hill, driver of the 56 Toyota. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of those videos beside me and visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.